Hey there, welcome to DIY Projects with Pete. I'm your host, DIY Pete, out in Bozeman, Montana. And today, in honor of National Woodworking Month, which is April, I'm going to show you how to build a really simple wine rack. This is going to hold about six to eight wine bottles. And underneath, I'm gonna take these out so I don't break the bottles. Underneath, you'll be able to hold six wine glasses and they'll just slide in like that. So let's go ahead and look at some of the tools and supplies you'll need to build this project. For tools, you're going to want to pick up or borrow a drill, jigsaw, orbital sander, an air nailer or a hammer and nails will work, and an optional Craig jig. It's also going to be handy to have some clamps and a square. Last but not least, you'll need either a hand saw, circular saw, or miter saw. And for the main supplies, you'll need wood glue, screws, nails, drill bits, and a finish of some sort. I used poly shades from Minwax. It made it really easy to get into all the tight spots and it provided a nice durable finish that uh, looks great and was simple to do. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The first step is to cut our one by four boards down to size. You're going to cut a total of five boards to 30 inches long and then one board to 27 inches long and then two small pieces that are just two inches. I'm using a 12 inch miter saw to make these cuts, but if you don't have a miter saw, you could also use a circular saw or a hand saw. After the 1x4s are cut, you can cut your 2x4s down to size. Here's a look at all the boards once they are cut. You can see how simple this project is because we use a total of 11 boards. All they are are 1x4 lumber and 2x4s. Use an orbital sander to clean up any rough edges. You can just run it over the edges real quick and then on the flat surfaces as needed. We're going to round over the front edges of all of the 2x4s. And to do this, just find an old paint can or coffee can to use as a stencil and then trace around it with a pencil. Line the paint can up on the top and front side of each 2x4 and then trace around it. Clamp the 2x4 down to your work surface and then use a jigsaw and follow the lines that you just drew to create that rounded corner. Make sure to do this for all three of the 2x4s. The next step is to measure for and then cut our notches out of one of the 30 inch 1x4 boards. You'll want to take a look at what you have for wine glasses. I use some pretty big wine glasses for the rack that I'm using so it's going to fit really big wine glasses as well as little ones. And it's gonna hold a total of six. You might want to check out the wine glasses that you have to make sure everything's going to fit, but uh, the template and measurements that I use should work pretty darn well for you. So let's go ahead and make the measurements. Measure in four inches and put a mark, then eight and a quarter inches, put a mark, and finally 12 and three quarters inches, put a mark, and then we'll do the same thing from the other side. Four inches, eight and a quarter inches, 12 and three quarters inches. Then use a square to put a line at each dash. And then measure two inches back from the front at each dash and put a mark. Then clamp your board down. Take a 3 8 inch drill bit and put a hole at each mark. Make sure that you go as straight down as possible. You'll make a total of six holes and these are going to be the back of each notch that's going to hold the wine glass. Use a straight edge and draw a line straight down from the left and right edge of the hole you just drilled. This is going to help us drill straight notches to hold those wine glasses. Make sure to do this for all six of the holes. Clamp the 1x4 board to your work surface and then begin cutting out those notches with your jigsaw. I found that it's better to err a little wider than your lines as it's not going to hurt anything. Rather, if you err on the narrow side of things, then your glass stems just might not fit. 
Once you've finished cutting out all of the notches, you can use an orbital sander to clean up any rough edges and to smooth out the board. Then use the orbital sander to smooth over the rounded edges of the 2x4s. All right, now we get to begin assembling our wine rack. We're going to take our shorter 27 inch board and that's going to go in between the two by fours that are 11 inches long. And then our 10 and a quarter inch two by four is going to go in the center. You can attach these using a variety of methods. It always involves glue. And then you can either use an air nailer or you can pre-drill and use some wood screws. Um, in today's example, we're going to use some pocket holes and a Craig jig. So we're going to go ahead and make Craig jig holes on each end and then we'll attach the boards. You're going to want to set up your Craig jig to three quarter inch stock settings and then we'll drill our pocket holes. Next, we'll put a little glue on the ends of the boards. We'll put it into place, grab a clamp, and then we'll use one and a half inch Craig jig screws to attach the boards to each other. We'll use two screws on each end. The combination of the glue and the screws is going to create a real solid connection. We're going to attach the center two by four from the bottom side using two wood screws. And so we'll want to find the center the total width is 30 inches, and so we'll find the center at 15, put a mark. Then we'll center our 2 by 4 We'll make sure that it's perfectly square. Once that's square, we can attach it from the bottom side. Next, we're going to attach the three 1x4s to the back section of our wine rack. We'll space them evenly. To start, you'll want to rotate the wine rack on its back side. And then we're going to grab a little wood glue. We'll put it onto the back side. Line up that lower board. And then use either screws, uh, nails, or an air nailer to put it into place. Next, do the top board. Line it up with the top sections of the wine rack. Then we're going to put a little wood glue and tack it in place. Then grab the last board. We'll put it in the center, make sure that it's evenly spaced, then grab a little glue and tack it into place. Then we'll flip the wine rack to the front side and add the board across the front. Line the board up, add some glue and then attach it just like we did with the backboards. Next, put a little glue on the underside of our two inch wide pieces. Put them flush with the back side and the corner. And then nail them into place. Before attaching the wine glass rack, I'd recommend testing it out with some wine glasses to make sure that the stems fit in just right. If everything fits like it should, you can add some glue and then attach the wine glass rack. Remove any excess glue and then we'll do a final sanding. The next step is to stain your project. Today we're going to be using a spray-on stain from Minwax. This is called Poly Shades. There's all sorts of color options and there's even a wipe-on option if you're not interested in the aerosol uh, cans. Apply the finish in a well-ventilated area and make sure to wear a mask while doing so. You're going to want to hold the can about 8 to 12 inches from the surface of what you're working on and apply real thin coats. It's probably going to take between two to four coats 
to cover your wine rack. The really cool thing about this product is that it is a stain and poly in one step so that you don't have to do two separate uh, finishes. Let the stain and sealer dry, then we're gonna drill some pilot holes so we can attach the wine rack to the wall at 16 inches on center into the studs of the wall. So find the center, which is going to be 15 inches, and then we're going to measure eight inches out from each side. So we'll put a mark here, and then eight here. Double check that those are 16 inches apart. And then measure one and three quarters to find the center of the board on each side. Draw an X, and then we'll put pilot holes through each X. Before attaching the wine rack to your wall, you'll want to find the studs in the wall using a stud finder and then a pencil to mark where each is. Then lift your brand new wine rack into place. You'll want to use three inch wood screws to attach it to the studs in the wall. Make sure that you do hit the studs so that you have a secure fit. Once that's done, go ahead and fill up your wine rack and enjoy. All right, thanks so much for tuning into DIY Projects with Pete. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and that you're inspired to build your own super simple DIY wine rack. For the complete tutorial, head over to the minwax.com website and blog. And as always, you can check out the latest updates from my site at DIYPete.com. Please connect on Facebook, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and best of luck with all your upcoming DIY projects. Cheers from Montana. Don't forget to watch some of the other videos on my YouTube channel. Click on the left thumbnail to find out how to build an ice chest cooler for your patio and on the right thumbnail to learn how to build a patio bar. Lastly, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Cheers guys!